Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm Heather. I'm Rob. And today we're going to be doing the Everyman Crossword number 3847 on the Guardian website. But first... Yeah, firstly we actually need to go back and uh, mention that last week we made a mistake. And we're very grateful uh, to Adam in our comment section pointing this out and letting us know that we needed to revisit. Uh, so the one we made a mistake on was six down which we had as crow's nest. Um, the information we were missing uh, is that boat race, that's Cockney rhyming slang uh, for face. And with that, a part of your face um, or an old face could be crow's feet. Um, which are the little lines that you can get by your eyes. Yes, so now this clue is passed. Gloats is crow's as before. Um, and then achievement loudly, we think is a homophone for feet, F-E-A-T, um, is actually feet. And then overall you get crow's feet. Um, so thanks very much for pointing that out. Great. And now let's get on with today's crossword. Um, so where should we begin? Uh, let's go for one down. Okay, so puts cushions in frogs' homes. So this is a double definition. If you put cushions, um, you pad, and frogs' homes are also pads, uh, so that is your answer. Okay, um, I'm going to do two down. Groomsmen regularly drowned wi downed wine, sorry. Um, so this one is rosé, and here we've got a clue where they've used the word regularly, which often means take the second, fourth, sixth letter etc so if you take those from groomsmen you get rosé um i think let's continue with some of these shorter ones mm -hmm. so shut up this is thus which means so and then if you spell sh shut backwards so it's going up you get thus although some people um don't actually like it when you have um an across clue saying it's going backwards as an up because that's more traditionally used for a down a clue because yeah, we're reversing it yeah vertically. i think there's some debate to be had there i mean personally i don't really mind it but yeah um, so. okay um i'm going to do seven down drunk chairman's admitted love for noises in dylan dylan records um so that's uh, a reference to bob dylan who often has harmonica um in the background um so that is in fact the answer harmonicas ha harmonicas um and the way that works is drunk um, signals you've got an anagram of the word chairman's um, and then where it says admitted love that actually means add the letter O um, in cryptic crosswords love uh, is often O because of the score in tennis. I think that's a really nice clue. Yeah. Loins dimly aroused by position so loins dimly um, aroused, that's an anagram of loins dimly, aroused being the anagrind, and then a position is a silly mid on, which is a position in cricket, did you say? Yeah, cricket. That was a uh, one for Rob so to get. <laughs> fortunate if you happen to know that. Um, okay, 16 across. Um, this one, it's, a bit of general knowledge required here. Um, so twice King and I eat on time for expedition. Um, the answer is a famous expedition, which is the Contiki. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I spelled that wrong. Um, Contiki expedition. Um, this is passed twice King and I, um, which is two times the letter K and the letter I. Um, and then where it says eat on time, um, that's the on T. Time can just be abbreviated to T. So they're being eaten into the centre of the clue there. Um, so we managed to get that from the wordplay and then found out later a bit more about the Contiki expedition because I didn't actually know about that. Um, but that apparently was a quite a, a famous expedition in the 40s. Um, there was a Norwegian guy who set off in a raft from South America like a, a very old-fashioned raft and the aim of the expedition was to try and visit Pacific Islands um, but to show that settlers, well people from South America could have made that journey plausibly like hundreds of years before. Um, so yeah that was quite a big deal back then and there was a, a film about it. 
um, in the 50s, I think, which is quite popular. Awesome. Ill, almost ill, it's when there's less activity. So the answer is off week. Um, and, oh, sorry, I've actually spelled that incorrectly. So off means ill, if you're feeling off. Almost ill can be weak, spelt how I accidentally spelt it before with an A inserted. Um, but almost shows that you should use the other spelling. And when you are doing less, you're, you're having an off week, you're not as active. So that's uh, the meaning. Okay, um, I think we've got le enough letters now to do one across. So a novel um, that fits in here is Persuasion, Jane Austen novel. Um, now we didn't, we could, we weren't sure exactly why that's that's winning. So we'd advise any, anyone to uh, comment on and inform us of why that's winning is used here. Um, but we're very confident of the answer because it's a famous novel that, that fits perfectly in there. Um, right, and now another one that mentions novel, um, mm -hmm. but this time novel being the anagram. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got put out novel Daisy's Fist. Um, so that's an anagram, in this case of Daisy's Fist. Um, and meaning put out, it's uh, dissatisfy. Okay, do you want to do four down? Let's go for it. Ferociously, ambitiously, a boy strangely wanting encouragement. Okay, so the answer is stimuli. How do you get this? <clears throat> so you have, ferociously is the anagram saying that you need to um, mix up the letters in ambitiously. But you have a boy strangely wanting, so you're strangely wanting the words a boy in the answer, meaning that you've um, missed those letters out. Hence you get stimuli, which you can find in the middle of this word. And um, stimuli means encouragement uh, because it, they both mean like provoking a reaction. Yeah. Um, okay, so 12 across. Uh, this is another book, um, book where one more duty laid out um, and another anagram. Um, so this is a book in the Torah uh, Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. um, which you can see is letters from one more duty and then laid out shows that you've got an anagram there. Mm. Um, which one do you want to do next? Yeah. So uh, the token primarily clue here is primarily some uncanny carnal creatures undertaking bedroom incursions. So the answer is succubi, I think that's how you'd say it. Um, you've taken the first letter of the words um, following the word primarily, um, and a succubi does what the clue insinuates. It's a kind of mythical creature, a, temp a temptress like female demon, I would say, um, which we, we didn't know about, but you can see from this primarily clue it clearly is and have since discovered. Yeah. Um... Right, I'm going to do three down. Okay, going to disturb none during nap. Um, so the meaning um, is going. Um, the answer is up and running. And that's actually another anagram. Um, this time of none during nap mm -hmm. with to disturb signifying the anagram. Um, should we just go for 10 across? Mm -hmm. Again, one we're not completely sure of. Uh, I'm convinced it's oral because oral means spoken. Not a clue why off the country not once means this either. I can't quite dissect yeah, it. Yeah, couldn't quite work this one out. So again, please let us know if you have managed to. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, this one. Quite liked. Mm -hmm. uh, 17 across commissions whereby queens collecting money in South Africa. Uh, well, the money in South Africa is, is the rand, um, and queens, uh, well, quite often in the cryptic crossword, uh, the queen is ER for Elizabeth Regina, so queens is ERS. So if you put that around the word rand, 
then you get errands, uh, which are commissions. Yep. Cover that woman to keep warmth in. Um, the answer is sheath, um, which is a cover. Um, that woman would be she, um, referring to like she, over there, that woman over there, she, um, to keep warmth in. So warmth um, can be heat, which you've got the letters of here. Um, why would you say the uh, anagram, an anagram of heat? No, there's no anagram. It's just to keep warmth in is a word that means warmth, heat inside she. Yeah. Oh my goodness, understood. You've got the she around the outside and heat in the middle. I was thinking of she here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, but that makes perfect sense. Okay. <laughs> right, uh, let's move on. Okay. Uh, right, 20 across. Pope with explanatory notes for piece of apocrypha. Um, well, the start of this is a Pope, Pope Urban. Um, and then explanatory note is a uh, legend. And then a piece of apocrypha uh, could be an urgen, urban legend. Since the university gets into reading typical, so this means typical and it's as per usual. And the breakdown of this is that another word for since is as. Gets into reading, so reading is perusal and you've abbreviated university to you and the you has uh, got in there to the word perusal. Yep. Uh, okay, so headgear uniform back to front in Western state. The answer is Utah. And we've got headgear uniform being hat U, where uniform from the phonetic alphabet can be um, abbreviated to U. Um, and hat U is back to front, so spelt backwards. Some dilly dallying reactionary appear. Um, the answer is lady. And you have the word lady um, in this word dilly dallying, and it's reactionary because it's spelt backwards, and a lady is a peer. Okay, 14 down. Um, quite like this one as well, actually. Uh, so 20 to go on here. Um, we always seem to fall for these. I was, I was thinking 20 was going to be related to the clue 20 across. Um, but in fact, 20 is um, a reference to, well, a word that means 20 is score, and that's what the answer is, in fact. Score board. Um, so the board comes from to go on, as in to board a train. Um, and then the whole clue is also an extended definition because the number 20 could go on a scoreboard. Uh, how about 11 down? Unprincipled, odd, tiny and drawn out. So the answer is down and dirty, which means unprincipled. Then you've got the words odd, tiny, drawn, and they're out of order. Uh, and mixing those up, you get down and dirty. Lovely. Um, OK, I'm going to do 19 across. So old desire with eagerness cut short. The answer is long ago. Um, the synonym is old. And the wordplay is um, a word that means desire is long. And then eagerness cut short um, is the word agog, which means eagerness, uh, but cut short, so missing the final letter, and you get ago. Mm -hmm. I'll let you do uh, this one. Oh, yeah, 19 down. Um, so, yeah, this one is, well, the answer is leached. Um, and when it has this spelling uh, with double E, that's referring to the creatures, leeches. Um, so the synonym in the clue is drained, um, as in drained using leeches. Um, however, there's a alternative spelling, L-E-A-C-H-E-D, um, which actually has a similar meaning. Um, so in this case, percolated, uh, but in general, just liquid um, seeping out of something. Um, could be could be leached with that spelling, 
Um, and because the clue says audibly, it shows it's uh, you're looking for a homophone. Great. Set apart, gutted, they bypass study. So this is at the ready, uh, the meaning being set. Then you have a part, gutted, so you've taken the middle letters out, which gives you at. Then you have the word they, which is bypassing, a word which means study, which is read. Okay. Um, maybe I'll do 21 now. Mm -hmm. So, bit of Sorina's dress. Uh, this is simply a word spelled out inside Sorina, uh, which means dress. So, sorry. Right. Reportedly breaks down stains. Um, so if you stain something, you dye it. So that is the word. And if something breaks down, it dies, which is the other spelling with an I. Uh, hence, you've got this word reportedly, again, signifying the presence of a homophone. Okay, uh, last one. Listen up. Every man's in peril, sad, quivering. Uh, the answer is read my lips is another way of saying listen up um, every man's well he's the crossword setter so it says every man's it's my in the middle um, and then in he's inside peril sad quivering um, so that's an anagram of peril sad signified by quivering going around the edge Perfect, so there you have it. That is the uh, completed crossword. We'd be interested to know your thoughts. Uh, I think we thought there was quite a lot of general knowledge that you needed for this. Yeah, quite a, quite a tricky one. Um, like silly mid on, I wouldn't have known, contiki, succubi. Uh, you can get there from the wordplay and the clues, but... Yeah, it, so maybe slightly harder harder words than sometimes are in the Evermore crossword. Yeah, you've had, it, you've had it in previous weeks too, but all in all very very satisfying see you next week